we don't do dinosaurs. No, we don't do dinosaurs. Okay, so hey everybody, I am back. Because for some reason you guys liked watching me do that. It was fun. I, I enjoyed the first reaction video. Um, editing it was a bit of a trick. I rant a lot. It's alright. But, um, yeah, so I decided to do another episode because I got a very positive response to the first one. Thank you very much. And, yeah, I just want to let you guys know I do have the air conditioner going in the background. I apologize. It's very warm in my apartment. Um, I know it's not warm outside, but my apartment's one of those weird buildings that, like, holds heat. So whatever temperature it is outside, just like add 20 to that. And that's what it is inside my apartment. So anyway, um, all right, we got a new episode uh, of Unearthed America. And I'm actually really interested to see what it's going to be about because the title of the episode is Alien Artifacts. And one thing I have to hand to Scott Walter is that he has never pushed or bought into, never appeared to push or buy into the whole ancient aliens thing. So a title like this is kind of interesting. I, I am predicting, I haven't watched it. I am predicting that what's really going to happen is this is going to be Walter's token skeptical episode where he's going to go look at these alien artifacts and debunk them. Um, I imagine he's probably going to tie them into Vikings or Templars or Phoenicians or something else. I will be very surprised if he doesn't. And yeah, but I think in general this episode's supposed to be the look, I can be skeptical too about woo woo. And yeah, so that's why we're doing aliens. Um, we'll see, I guess. And yeah, so let's let's go ahead and get started. As usual, we're starting off with horror movie-esque uh, set up. I don't know, at this point I kind of enjoy them. Uh, they're not very good horror movies, but, you know, the suspense is there, I suppose. Uh, it does open up on a full moon. And <laughs> there's random native looking person, I guess, in a cave. I don't know. Walter's imagination, imagining of the past is limited at best. Anyway, I assume this is where the aliens come from. And then they start shooting them in the head. And he's running. Because a thing fell from the sky, you guys. It's Superman's rocket ship. jungles of Veracruz, Mexico. Walter knows he can walk through the woods without a machete, right? Especially when there's clearly already a path. I... He's got a guy in front of him clearly leading him down this path and he's just like swinging this machete back and forth. It's like, dude, just walk. It's okay. The tree isn't going to hurt you. Also, you're going to spend so much more energy chopping it down with that stupid fucking machete than if you just, like, pushed it aside and walked through it. I do it routinely. You just walk through the brushes. Sometimes they stick, you move them, and you keep walking. Hunting for evidence of a lost civilization that could predate the oldest known Mesoamerican culture by over 5,000 years. This is a perfect habitation site for ancient cultures, but this... Because Walter knows everything there is to know about ancient culture habitation sites. ...goes deeper than that. I've seen artifacts that suggest the civilization I'm hoping to prove existed had contact with aliens. Oh my god, look at this! Oh my god, there's some lines in the stone! Really? We're really gonna do this? We're really gonna do ancient aliens? 
on Unearthed America? Okay. Well, there's a... And at first, I didn't believe it myself. There's no denying that Mayans, who built amazing structures at places like Chichen Itza, have a legend of a serpent-like god called Kukulkan, who descended from the sky. I mean, a lot of cultures have a snake god. Um, mostly cultures that have contact with snakes. Uh, the, the feathered serpent just happens to be the big god for the Mayan. I... I don't know why, I don't know why all the gods have to be aliens and why religious beliefs have to, have to be influenced by otherworldly creatures from space. I mean, I don't, I don't understand why everything has to be Cthulhu. It's just, you know, it's, it's just like, Why, why can't we just acknowledge that the human mind is capable of lots of cool things and one of those things the human mind is capable of is creating a supernatural world and creating a supernatural experience. I'm not a believer myself. Uh, if you do believe in things, more power to you. But the... You know, it's, it's like, why can't we believe that ancient peoples created belief systems and, and and assigned spirits and gods to these belief systems. Why does it have to be aliens? I just don't understand. It It is depressing to me to see how uncreative and lifeless the the alternative archaeologists and the fringe archaeologists and pseudo-archaeology make people from the past. They're simple. They're uncreative. They're incapable of their own culture. They had to be influenced from the outside. Something had to be brought to them before they could build a culture. It's insulting on a lot of levels. Um, not the least of which being most of these ancient peoples have living descendants today and you're basically just telling those people that their whole world is given to them usually by some great white race but it's also insulting to me as a human being because all of these people are human and we're only here because they managed to survive so saying that they are incapable of their own culture and their own lives and their own creativity is basically saying so are we and i find that really insulting as just a person in general the reason i'm here is because two days ago a man with something extraordinary showed up in my lab Scott, you're gonna love these. Well, Mark, your uh, email was rather cryptic. Must be good, whatever you've got. Well, you tell me. This is a statue with pointed head? <gasps> it's a pointed head statue! <sighs> I can't tell you how fake this thing looks, but... But... I can be wrong. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. You know good. what? Look at that. That's a little spaceship. Oh, for yep. Christ's what, what sakes. I believe that these... Do <laughs> really? Are we, are we really doing this? Are we really doing this? We're really doing this. Really, Walter? Really? I'm just... Really? I'm looking at these while I'm saving them, and I just... I can't... They are beyond description because... 
They are so obviously fake. Okay, I, like, don't get me wrong, like, Walter believes a lot of weird shit. They're just so fake. Like, so fake. Walter, seriously. Seriously. Anyway, alright. I promise to put those in the video. You know what? Look at that. That's a little spaceship. Yep. Well, yeah, that is. I believe that these depict contact with aliens. This is like nightmare fuel right here. Well, I've saved the best for last. Ooh, show me the best. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> eggs saucers and what looks like the fucking space station i'm sorry my language i apologize i mean as an art piece this is gorgeous as like whatever just whatever <laughs> i can't i can't handle it i'm sorry side we have a scene that's carved Ooh. this has a mesoamerican feel <laughs> no it doesn't Need to do is bring some science to the equation and look very carefully at these artifacts to see if we can get some hard facts to back up your claim. I'm gonna get my microscope out. Let's start there. Okay. I swear to God, if Walter says these things are real, it literally just proves that he's completely a shill. <laughs> I'm sorry. These are so fake. I've always known Mark. See those grooves? Uh -huh. See where they carve the grooves, and right. there's dirt in the grooves. But I'm not seeing any weathering features on the rock. These came out of the ground, right? I saw them come out of the ground with my own eyes. Well, that would explain why I'm not seeing any evidence of age. Because if they were buried, they could sit there till the end of time, and they won't change. That is complete bullshit. Why is there adhesive on ancient Mayan artifacts? The radioactive decay of organic material to determine how old it is. It's high tech and highly accurate, and it should be able to tell me if Mark's artifact is... I like that C-14 is highly accurate in this episode because Walter has debated the accuracy of C-14 dating in the past because he doesn't get the dates he wants, so... He must have gotten a date that he wanted from this, or else I don't see him saying such nice things about C-14 dating. Ancient or modern? Well, it is organic, and I've had it dated. Oh, well, we're not even going to bother on this show. This guy who brought him the artifacts has already had all this done for him. You've already had it tested. I've had it tested, and you aren't going to believe the results. No, I'm not. 7609 to 7520? That's 9,000? In 500 years ago. That's right. I mean, if this test result is right, this represents a culture that predates any Mesoamerican culture by a lot. I mean, by thousands of years. I agree. And not only that, a culture that interacted, apparently, with aliens. Yeah. I can't even... Okay, so... C-14 dating only works on really old things because... Um, it's, it's measuring the rate of decay, and past a certain point, or before a certain point, I don't really know how to describe that exactly, but anyway, if you send something modern to get it tested, you'll get a wonky result. Um, I'm just saying. That's why we don't use it for everything. Anyway. Other issues with just the claim here. Because this is so weird an artifact, and it's such an extraordinary claim, especially aliens 9,000 years ago, 
what you need to be showing us as an audience to make this claim authentic is we need to see the artifact itself going for testing and then we need to see the testing definitively attached to the artifact returned. This is because extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence and this Russell guy just telling us that, oh yeah, there's, I've already had everything done. So? I don't care. You're a random person who we've never met before on any of the shows. You don't have any credentials attached to your name so we have no reason to believe you at least according to the show this is purely based on the show i haven't looked any of these people up yet so what i'm saying is this russell person has we have no reason to trust this russell person we know walter likes to bend the truth these artifacts don't look real i need to see the artifact itself being tested and then I need to see the results of that test in hand before I am going to believe anything about the C14 date of these artifacts. Just hands down. And also, this shouldn't be that hard. He's got, what, six, seven artifacts here? You could send one of them, you know? You could send one. I would tentatively give you the batch ideally you should have all of them tested um but i guess if you only have organic adhesive on one of them so here's the other thing why is there adhesive on these what are they gluing them to anyway so that's my that's my rant about these i don't trust that c14 date not just because it's a 9,000 year old date. I don't trust that C14 date because I don't think that date, either that test didn't actually happen or that is not the test for these objects. So until I am shown the object itself being tested and then the result of that test, I am not going to accept any date for these things. And I understand that that is asking a little bit more than the average artifact, but these are not average artifacts. And Walter's claim that because they were buried, there was no weathering is absolute crap. And not only is it absolute crap, but he should know that because he and past shows has shown us weathering that has occurred. He's used that, uh, that exact argument to help verify the authenticity of other objects. So he's literally talking out both sides of his mouth right at this moment. This is a pretty extraordinary claim and we're gonna need extraordinary proof. So yes, what I think are. we need to do is we need to replicate this result. I'd like to take another sample of this glue and test it. And if we get another similar date, boy, it's on now. Science is about repeated results. That's why testing this again is so important. Well, anyway, we're going to go run off with a bunch of treasure hunters because we can't go to an archeological dig. Because one of those things is totally like the other. These are the kind of things they're finding. Even your fake artifact doesn't look like the other fake artifact. Your two fakes don't even look alike. An offering of corn. It could have been made by the same... How do you know that's corn? How do you know? Culture that made this one. It could be. Where did you say this was again? Deep in the jungles of Veracruz. Looks like I'm going to the jungle, baby. Who wants to bet he says welcome to the jungle at least once in the show. The treasure hunters are finding alien artifacts like Mark's. If I can find a similar artifact in context and it produces the same C-14 date that Mark got with his find, it could prove the existence of an ancient, undiscovered Mesoamerican culture. 
So all of all, everything else aside. So his goal here is to go and find another artifact that also has glue on it so that he can get that tested to get a verifying date to compare to the date that we still don't know if it's authentic or not. But to his credit and my rant, he did send a second sample off to verify the number. So at least that much was done. I feel better. Olmec are the oldest known major Mexican civilization. They first appeared around 1600 BC and faded out around 350 BC. They produce countless pieces of art, but they are most well known for their colossal head carvings in the Faded out is not the word I would use. I think this is pro a problem of pseudo-archaeology in the fringe. Like, they don't understand cultural progression, I think. And so for them, hard dates are like bookends. You know, it's one, one era begins and ends. It's like the time of man and then like the time of the elves and, you know, there's no, there's no concept for them that the Olmecs didn't fade away. The Olmec culture changed into another culture that we recognize differently. This is the same with any of the ancient uh, Native American cultures in the United States, uh, Canada, and, and South America, or anywhere in the world, really. Cultures don't just vanish. I know, I know that's like the bread and butter of pseudo-archaeology, but really what happens almost always is the culture adapts, it changes, sometimes it'll get absorbed into another culture that's nearby, a stronger culture. Um, Stronger is maybe not the best word, but you understand what I'm saying there, I hope. And so it's it's not, the Olmecs didn't fade away. The Olmecs just changed and they became another culture. And that culture was a different cultural period. This is your base camp? This is the place where they get together before going to the caves and to the jungle. Okay, well, I'd love to see some artifacts. Where do they want us to go? Tienen algo como mostrarnos? Claro que sí, por aquí, por favor. This way? Okay. Este se va por acá, ven, si me voy por acá. I'm just saying, meeting with a bunch of guys in a clandestine cave, as cool as it looks. I just, I just wow, this episode. amazing commercial break so was this buried or did they wash out or did they excavate how did they find yeah walter's asking a very intelligent question here how did they find them gee i guess we're just gonna have to take their word for it because there is no documentation don't resemble known tortonacan art but it's possible they were produced by an even earlier undiscovered culture. What do they think they are? I mean, what did- I like that it, it's always like, oh, this doesn't look anything like any of the known cultures that we know about because we found their stuff and we've studied it and we've talked with their descendants and things. Therefore, it must be an artifact of an earlier civilization that no one has ever seen before. And that's why it doesn't look like anything that we know. It's always that. We always just assume that these are not frauds and that they must be real and therefore early civilization. I am wondering, because I'm also reading um, Graham Hancock's current book, uh, America Before right now, and he's sort of leading up to this not aliens. Hancock doesn't usually push aliens. I don't think he's ever pushed aliens. Um, 
but he is leading up to this incredibly ancient lost civilization and I think he's going to station it somewhere in South America um, I don't know I haven't gotten to that part yet his book is like stupid long anyway I wonder if this particular episode isn't a uh, response to Hancock's book um, I guess we'll find out think that they found what about the mint so this is where legend says a ship crashed right yes okay. yes yes and you can see it has kind of the shape <laughs> right yeah well you have no yeah it kind of looks like a spaceship you but when no i look problem. here and i see the way this is weathered out this is a perfect habitation site for ancient cultures well maybe we'll find some evidence inside so this particular cave apparently looks like a crashed extraterrestrial ship. I mean, hypothetically, if we are going to go off of the idea that what people saw back then is real, they really saw an alien ship crash, then wouldn't that cave have to theoretically be a spaceship? Is it like the TARDIS and it can disguise itself to look like actual rock? I don't know. Anyway. Okay, did they come from this cave? Yes. Okay. Oh, back way up there? That was the area where they found. So they came from up there? Way up in there. You know what I would like to do is I want to take a sample of some of the dirt around here where you found these artifacts. I have a reason for wanting to do that. I think the dirt in this cave might tell me just how old the artifacts the treasure hunters showed me really are. But I won't know for sure until we get back to base camp. That's not how that works. Even if the dirt is as old as Walter wants it to be, that doesn't prove those artifacts are the same age. Especially since he himself has not laid eyes. I mean, Walter's doing a fairly decent job of poking holes in this. I wish he was as critical about some of the other things he goes on about on his show as he is about these alien artifacts. Anyway. If the artifacts were really left deep in this crevice, the same dirt should be on the artifacts as I'm finding here. That sample's collected. The treasure hunters tell me they have searched every square inch of this cave for artifacts, and they think they found all it has to offer. But they reveal there's another cave deeper in the jungle they haven't yet searched. Conveniently, there's no more artifacts in the in that cave for Walter to find. I wonder if they have a cave set up for Walter to find an artifact in. That's music to my ears. An unexplored cave means it hasn't been tampered with. And in Mesoamerican cultures named Ed Barnhart to see if he can shed some light on who might have made them. There's the first one. Well, definitely see the resemblance to movie-style aliens. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Leaf-shaped eyes. I don't know. There's really not a lot that I could identify as Mesoamerican. Take a look at that. <laughs> well, if there's anything that's consistent in Mesoamerican art, it's their love of symmetry. Symmetry is definitely not something this artifact has. This has such an interesting organic look to it that I can't imagine any Maya doing something like that. All right, well, let's try one more here. Uh, this is pretty interesting. There's something a little different on here. If you look at the face, there's some interesting script. One thing that stands out right off the bat is that people in Mesoamerica tend to write from up to down and either pairs or columns, but this doesn't have any column order. Instead, it has more of a right to left writing. Swing in the mess, <laughs> huh? All right. Well, Ed, I'd like to show you a, a picture if you don't mind. This is more three-dimensional. It actually comes off the surface of the piece, but this is an inset piece and there's actually glue along here this glue is organic based. Really? Yes. I showed Dr. Barnhart the results of the C14 test Mark Russell performed on this tablet, and he's just as shocked by the date of 7500 BC as I was. Whoa. That's incredibly old. That's that's reaching right back into Paleolithic times. That's amazing. The 
organic material should not survive that long. There's not even a hint of any kind of organized society at that point. Is it possible maybe this is a cult? I think the important thing here that Walter just got told is that organic material should not have survived that long, so giant red flag? That we really don't know much about? That is entirely possible. I think that especially out in uh, western and central Mexico, we have a lack of archaeology. These dates, is there any way they can be faked in your mind? I mean, it's within the realm of possibility. You could take some very old material and put it in the binder if you were determined to create a, a false artifact and trick a test like this, but you'd have to know it was that old. You'd probably have to get an archaeologist who had already found a site that old that knew how to get access to that material. Do you think an archaeologist would do that? Certainly I wouldn't. Now, I remind you that you've got one date here, and uh, at the moment, I call it an anomaly. This is not uh, a pattern. You need to find a pattern if you're going to prove this. Absolutely, and that's why we've taken some samples from this piece, and I've sent them off for C14 testing, and I can't wait to get the results back. It should happen anytime. I never stop being amazed at the rich cultural history of Mesoamerica. That's... Isn't he even a little bit suspicious at how easily he was able to take the sample from that? I mean... Nothing popped loose when he scraped it. I mean, shit, glue doesn't even last, you know, that long. And I don't know. There's just a lot of stuff here. I just can't believe Walter would believe. I don't know. Why it's so critical. I verify the results of Mark Russell's C14 test. If the artifact he showed me is truly 9,000 years old, it will represent a new, unwritten chapter in Mesoamerican history. And that's not a book we can rewrite without ample proof, so I need to be sure. That's why I wanted to repeat the C-14... I like in this episode how he is acting like he's some kind of historical guardian, you know. We can't rewrite the book of history without ample evidence, but yet every other episode that he's ever done, he has like one little thing and he's ready to rewrite history from the ground up but yet this episode he's like oh no no we need ample evidence lots of evidence extraordinary evidence and he, ironically he's correct but the standards that he's putting these alien artifacts to are not the same standards he puts everything else he's ever examined on his shows ever to It's hypocritical. <laughs> and I do feel like this episode is just the look, Scott Walter can be skeptical episode, but I mean. What I did recently was I talked to a Mayan expert and I showed him some of the artifacts that I got from you. And he said, these things don't look like anything that came out of the known cultures that he studied. And that might not be a bad thing because these had to have come from a, a culture that existed prior to the Olmecs, the Mayans, the Toltecs, so... I like that what Walter took away from his meeting with the Mayan expert was, these don't look Mayan, therefore they must be from an earlier civilization. Okay. 9,240 years BP before present. That's fantastic. 9,500 years ago from today. Read this and make sure I'm not mistaken. Take a look at this, okay? This is where you guys took your sample, right? Right. Okay, around the eye, and I took mine under the mouth here, and we got virtually the same, same results 9,500 years ago. So you know what that means? You have an incredible artifact here, or somebody had to fake this. The only way something like this could be faked is if an archaeologist went to a known site, collected 9,500 year old material created an adhesive and then created the artifact off the top of my head i'm not even sure what sites you could go to that would have that kind of material and would not walter completely missed what he was told he was told that you would have to have dirt that was nine thousand years old mixed into the adhesive to create a con to cheat the test Finding 9,000-year-old 
dirt or particles that you could make into an adhesive isn't that hard we live on a planet walter took that to mean you had to pull that dirt out of an archaeological site because otherwise it's somehow not 9,000 years old the other thing that walter's completely missing is the fact that all you need to do to cheat the c14 testing apparently is to find organic materials carbon materials that date carbon material like you just need carbon apparently mix it in to an adhesive and well i mean that makes sense because c14 only dates carbon so if there's no carbon in it anyway he could have used any dirt from anywhere mixed it into the adhesive and just shot for a date all this is really telling us is that whatever material was mixed into the adhesive because remember adhesive doesn't last for nine thousand years so whatever material was mixed into the adhesive all came from the same spot area scoop um this is not a real artifact i really hate to break it to walter but this isn't real and there's a lot of red flags here that he really should be paying attention to and he's just not culture created this existed at the dawn of the archaic period archaeologists believe there were primarily hunter gatherers around at that time but clearly this artifact is more advanced than that archaeologists are going to put these artifacts okay for a moment let's pretend like this is a real artifact why does he think hunter-gatherers are not capable of creating art? What what does he think hunter-gatherers do? Just what what does he think hunter-gatherers are? Like why wouldn't they be able to create art? Actually, we we know they did. So why is that such a hard thing for Walter to wrap his mind around? If hunter-gatherers were creating works of art or sacred objects which we can pretend for a moment that these might be making them small handheld portable objects would be exactly what you would expect to find because since they are indeed hunter gatherers they kind of move around usually agriculture hasn't quite been invented yet you know they've got different spots they go to different seasons territory in which they roam having small portable objects would be a lot better for them than having a large structure but you know as i say that golbeki tepe is a prime example of hunter gatherers building a very permanent structure um, golbeki tepe is amazing and it dates to hunter gathering periods and the only people that could have built that are other hunter gatherers and there's a lot of research going into that which makes that site so significant these are not real artifacts period um but if they were having small portable objects would be perfect for hunter gatherers so walter's inability to credit hunter-gatherers with the ability to create portable pieces of art is just ludicrous anyway off my rant we're almost done i promise symbols that we don't even know what they are yeah, i mean this fake. is a high advanced culture and let me ask you this is what we're seeing depict high advanced culture I have seen that phrase so many times this past week. It is annoying. Him and Hancock. What does that even mean? What do they think they're saying when they say high advanced culture? So overall, um, I hate this episode. <laughs> I think this episode was really stupid. Um, not just because of because i understand what this episode was supposed to be doing it's supposed to be oh look scott walter can be skeptical look scott walter can use logic and critical thinking and scott walter 
doesn't believe every artifact he finds to be authentic. And I mean, he's done little things like this before in, in previous shows where he's been shown something. He's like, yeah, I don't really, I'm not really buying it. And that's fine. Um, it, it does establish a narrative that Walter doesn't believe everything that he sees, which, you know. But at the end of this, we have bad testing. We have non skeptability And of course, as always, we have Walter wrapping everything up at the end with the whole, no one's going to believe us. Ergo, if I dissent against his belief that this is a 9,000 year old artifact depicting alien contact that clearly I am in the wrong because I'm doing the thing that he said I would do. I don't hate the artifact. I mean, these are actually really pretty artifacts. Um, whoever made them has some talent. These are not Mayan artifacts. These are not pre-Mayan artifacts. These aren't pre-Olmec artifacts. These aren't archaic artifacts. These are something modern that were made modernly. I am, I don't know who his friend Russell is. I don't mean to besmirch the guy, but I'm highly skeptical that if he really did see those artifacts come out of the ground with his own eyes, then, you know, he's gotta know these are fake. Um, he just has to, I'm sorry. It's, I find it very hard to believe that he is not aware that these are fake artifacts. That's just my personal opinion on the matter. Take it or leave it. Um, Walter has to know these are fake artifacts. As much credit, as, as much as he looks into stone and has figured out a way to date stone and blah, blah, blah. How does he say that these artifacts that are demonstrating being forgeries by having the sharp margins and the deep grooves and no erosion and all of the things that he says in this episode. Anyway, I'm losing train here. I'm losing track of my thoughts here because I'm just like overwhelmed with how crappy this episode was. Um, on top of everything else, it was boring. This was a boring episode. Yeah, he went to some country in Mexico and trooped around in the woods with a machete and admired the nature and crawled through a cave. And yet, annoyingly, he apparently did find a site with some pottery and that really irritates me, but that's the most exciting thing that happened in this episode. The rest of this episode was just really boring. And I just honestly am flabbergasted that America Unearthed went there with aliens. Like, they jumped the shark. Anyway. I'm sorry I watched this. Um, so there you go. Take my hate for this episode. Apply Walter's prediction that I was going to hate this episode. And I guess that means Walter's right and that that really is a 9,000 year old artifact and aliens contacted the Mayas because God forbid they actually create their own culture. That would be ridiculous, right? So yeah, if you liked this, um, like, share, subscribe, share the video with people, follow the links in the show notes below. And yeah, I, I swear I'm eventually going to get the um, write-up for this done and for the first episode, but as you can clearly see, I'm still moving. And yeah, so give me some time. Anyway, I'll probably see everybody on the next episode, so bye.